probably goes back to when I was a child, going to Aylesborough myself. Um, in the olden days we used to sneak in when we were 10, because at that time there was just senior youth clubs, so you weren't meant to go till you were 12. But we did sneak in across the road in Peter Aylesborough and annoy Babs and Harold and Madge and adult youth workers that was there then. And then, when I was 18, Harold Lisk asked me to come to Alice for a one night and help out with something. And then the next week he asked me again and then all of a sudden I realised I was a youth leader at that time is what they were called. And I've still not been inducted. <laughs> that would have been in 1978. And I worked at Aylesborough until 2014, was it, when they paid half a lot of youth workers, unfortunately. But um, youth work was just a huge part of my life for, for so many years, because you kind of revolved your week around your shifts, you usually did at that time. I would do maybe two or three nights a week. And, and it was just great fun going and seeing the bairns every week and all that kind of thing. Well, I don't know if I can pick out one specific thing because, as I said, it was just a huge part of life and there were so many different things that happened. Um, we had some great fun. So SAYC trips was probably a highlight both as a competitor and as a youth leader going away south and meeting up we had the different youth clubs and youth leaders for all of Scotland. Um, and just the funds that you had in the youth club and just seeing how Bairns kind of came out of themselves and you might get a pretty shy, lonely Bairn that didn't care on anybody but just coming to the youth club and seeing other Bairns doing things and taking time to listen to them and see what they wanted to do, because everybody's good at something. One kind of more serious thing that came out of it was, um, it was a lot of years after I met a wife as she is now socially, and she told me that if it hadn't been, I mean, great, <laughs> if it hadn't been for the youth club when she was young, she thought she might not be a boot anymore, because of the she was having problems at home and used to fact she could come to the youth club twenty times a week at that time and see familiar faces and he thought was the who's to speak to really help her. Well, because I think even more so in this day and age, there are a lot of bairns that maybe didn't go out and mix with folk. They're sitting in working with their consoles and whatever, sitting in on their own. And the only time they're maybe mixing with Burns is at school. And I think it's really important that they go out and tick per as they can. The good thing about youth work is you don't have to be good at anything. You don't have to be really interested in anything, but you can go and you can tick per. You can play fit by even if you're no good. You don't have to join a club and stand on the sidelines not getting picked for the team. There's so many things that they can be part of and do as best they can without having to excel at anything. And just really the fact that it's all inclusive. And as I'm saying, new, I think an awful lot of parents sit in the houses, they don't go in the boot. They didn't interact with folk and it's actually kind of worrying, I think, the way a lot of them are new. So, something like the youth club, where you didn't have to be specifically good or anything. They can go and still meet and tip pet and do what they can. Draw a picture, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Shoot a few hoops or whatever it is they do. And if they miss it, it doesn't matter, as long as they're enjoying themselves. Well, I just hope they uh, grow up to be happy and enjoy themselves. 
and they didn't realise that they can be different if they want to be. They didn't have to look the same as everybody else or wear the same as everybody else or do the same as everybody else. And I hope that Shetland continues to be a quite good place to, to work and uh, there's plenty of work for the matter. The, but mostly I hope they can enjoy themselves and be happy and realise that whatever they are is fine. Everybody's got some good in them and if they can use that good to help other folk or whatever then even better but just yeah, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>